For those of you that don't know me, my name is Jerry Seifert. Uh, I am experienced in government. I have 12 years that I served as a county councilman and four years as a county executive. Uh, during my term in office and also uh, uh, during my years as an adult, I served on a number of county boards and authorities, so I have a lot of experience. I served on the uh, Joint Planning Commission, I served on the Housing Authority, I served on Lehigh Valley Transportation Study, which is the organization that spends approximately $500 million a year on highway projects. Number 33 project was a prime project of ours. I uh, uh, have a strong background in labor. I uh, worked at the Bethlehem Steel. I had my 30 years at the Bethlehem Steel. Uh, I served as a shop steward. My whole family, at some point or another, uh, was either organizers of AFSCME, uh, worked with the Teamsters, the auto workers, uh, held some kind of a position with the unions. So uh, I have a strong background there. I also paid my dues to the Democratic Party. I served as a committee man, I served as an area chairman, and uh, I also served on the executive board and uh, ran a number of fundraisers for the county. I was the uh, uh, chairman when uh, Jimmy Carter made his first appearance here in Pennsylvania. For that banquet, we held that up at the, at the uh, community center in Northampton. Okay, thank you. A minute and a half, all right. Now, a uh, little bit about what I want to do in the future, you know, what I did in the past. Um, I am hoping that uh, I get re-elected to county council for a number of reasons. Uh, one of those reasons are that uh, I think we have a lot of room to do things. And Lad, I think uh, some of your questions were, 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 were excellent. Uh, for example, uh, Graysdale. Uh, Ryan Heckman, Rich Casella, and myself uh, sat down with the union leaders to talk about what can we do about Graysdale. They were more than willing to make concessions when we went to the administration. That's where the roadblock was. It wasn't with the unions. I believe that the county has to keep their commitment to Graysdale, and therefore I support Graysdale. Uh, I think there's room for improvement in county government. Uh, one of those areas is going to be that I want to see a pilot project coordinated with the, uh, the state uh, court system and where the county turns over the criminal division to the courts. We are owed $60 million plus in outstanding fines, fees, costs, and restitution. And we can't collect it. If we turn it over to the courts, we get a pilot project, and hopefully we get some some funding to try and collect some of that money. I'm done with the time. Boy, that's a fast three minutes. Okay. Um, I'd, like, I'd like to answer any questions. I hope you have some good questions like you, you asked before. Yeah, really. Questions for Mr. Seifert? I'm going to stay on the kids myself. I don't know about nobody else in here, but I know what's important to me. And I have children in the school system that don't have anywhere to go. I, you know, we talk about them being on computers and all of that, but if they had other activities that they could be involved in, they would be involved in them. And I, you know, I need to know if anybody's thinking about the fact that our schools are getting their budgets cut, no security, no nothing like that, and politicians are not cutting their salaries. They're gonna be here, they've been here. Where are our kids going to go? 